20s. We thought, you know, Toboko was going to pull off the double, um, but he wasn't able to in the 200. He looked really good in the heats, but he got beat in the 200, a very close race. Blessing Afrifa of Israel goes 19.96. Toboko also timed at 19.96. Very small margin, very close race. Afrifa, only 18 years old. His PB before the meet, Gordon, 20.52. And now he's a sub-20 guy. So we have two sub-20 athletes in this meet. Afrifa, I think he PR'd in, let's see, did he PR in every single round? He went 20-37. Yeah, he went 20-37, 20-17, and then 19.96. So... Set a personal best in every single round. Hey, it's fun to be 18, right? PR all the time. Uh, and he beats and he beats Tobogo. Yeah, that's a wild uh progression, right? 23, 20.3, 20.1, then 19.9. Uh, kind of shows you what is possible when you have competition around you. Because clearly, you know, when you're 18 years old and he's running Israel and Kenya and a little bit of a Germany race as well, you just run to win. Right? You're not really thinking about your true potential. And then it takes having a world record holder in the U20 100 meters to be in your race to kind yeah. of push you to like a place you didn't think you could go. And we see that a lot in the 200. You know, I remember Christine Mboma, she came mm -hmm. in with a, not a, a lighter PB. And then all of a sudden you're running 21 fives and 21 sixes. And I think. There's something about people who are kind of newer to the 200, whether it's, it's new, they're new to the event or they're just young and they haven't run it a lot, where they have these gigantic drops when the competition around them forces them to kind of up their game. And Tobogo in the first round ran 19.99. So it only went three hundredths faster in the final. And to me, that's just, that's experience, I think, coming into play there. I think obviously he can go quicker. A free fight, I think, you know, is a guy to watch moving forward. But for Tobogo, strength is at the 100, not the 200. But I think he's got more in the tank in the 200. I noticed he basically got passed in this race, the same spot on the track where he started celebrating in the 100. Like this thing really tightened up with about 20 meters to go. And then a free fight just got past him. But two guys to watch. Moving forward, there was a lot of Knighton and Tobogo comps after Tobogo ran the 991. I think Knighton has the 200, we could say, firmly. And then I think Tobogo, you'd probably give the edge to in the 100 right now just because he looked so good and Knighton is yet to break 10 seconds. But it's going to be exciting. Got a lot of 18, 19-year-olds running really, really fast times right now. Yeah, it is exciting, and um, I'm happy that we have this meet because it allows you to kind of really focus in on the future, focus in on, like, who will be the stars in the next two to three years. Because you look at a lot of the stars from, you know, you can, you can literally connect a lot of them to their breakout moments from their World Junior Championship win uh, or big PB from that time, so... And, you know, I never even heard of Blessing Afer Afrifa. How do I say his last name? Afrifa. Afrifa. But now I do, and now I'm excited about this kid from Israel who uh, mm -hmm. is someone you're going to have to consider when we go into 2023. Because they ran that into a minus one headwind, too. Like, yeah. So I'm not sure what the time conversion is, but. They can, they're going to be 19 eight guys at least next year, in my opinion. Do you want some recent podiums from World Juniors in the men's yeah. 200? Yeah. Um, all right. I'll give you, because some of them it's like, whoa. And then other ones you're like, hmm, what happened to those guys? So okay. 2021, uh, Anwazarike won it. Tobogo was silver. So obviously two guys who are still in the mix. 2018, I'm just doing men's 200. Jonah Efaloko, Charles Dobson, Eric Harrison. 2016, Michael Norman, uh, Leo Talela, and then Nigel Ellis. So, Nor and Lyles won the 100 that year in 2016. So, 
that worked out pretty well. Those two panned out, two gold medalists. Uh, and then 2014, Trent Davis Friday, Divino Daduru, and then Michael O'Hara from Jamaica. In that race, the 100 was Kendall Williams and then Trayvon Bromel. And then 2012, Delano Williams, Aaron Ernest, Tyreek Hill. Tyreek Hill. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, him. He's doing pretty good in <laughs> Miami now. You forgot about him? You definitely did not forget about Tyreek Hill. So, let's some yeah, some names that went on and got a bunch of medals and in Lyles' case in the 100, obviously went on and broke the American record in the 2, but also it's not a guarantee. It's definitely not a guarantee because if you're good at if you're good at 18 and 19, it's it's not a sure thing and running 199 is is great, but in this era running 199 is really not going to get you a medal. No, in yeah. a major championship. So there's a whole other level up to go. Gets you in some diamond league races, that's for sure.